here we are with the small the layout of the projected map. Um, if we go back here, we'll see the map. And down here in the lower left is the uh, scale. Now there's some set ones, or there's um, for this, I happen to know that um, 15,000 is usually is just about right um, for to see the whole town and so when you when you do the layout uh, it's like that now this is the projected what we're going to try to do today is maybe make a different layout and make it using two maps and one would be the projected map and the other one would be the uh, geographic map so we're going to um, add a new map and when a new map opens up it generally wants to be in the um, geographic coordinate system and we're at map we want to add data to this and for that we'll go back because we know where we've kept our data and um, see this is okay this is where I kept it the German Geographic and it's in the German GeoDraft and GeoDatabase so I'm going to click on the town and control click on Anno the streams and the streets and we'll see if that brings it all in it does and now we're going to go through the same process as we did previously in making both the geographic and the other map one thing I'm going to do right now is change the name of this and go to properties and I'll call this German Geographic okay and we'll say okay just so that it will take it up there and we'll look at our other map and what will that's called map and we'll change the name of that and that will be German projected you can hear me clicking away here and then we're going to make a new layout and to do that we'll go to the insert map and we'll say a new layout and I think we want it to go side by side I have paper that can do that but let's just go with this side by side and I'm going to uh, name that layout this is going to be called comparison uh, general comparison okay good and what we'll do now is we are going to do a map frame and our first map frame will be this one right here and we are going to go like this and it looks like we might want to change the scale a little bit one to maybe 17,000 there that fits it really well now while you're waiting I'm going to go back to German Geographic and I'm going to and do the same annotation that we did originally in the first map okay <coughs> now we have German looking uh, and this is the geographic and so now what we're going to do is add a map frame and 
I can't tell which is which. Okay, I think this is the geographic. Okay. Yes. And what we want to do on that is make that 17,000. Looks like it better be a little bit less. Uh, maybe both of them better be uh, 18,000. You have to get them both on the same screen. Yeah, even more. Okay, we're going we're going for 20,000. Okay, that fits. And then this one we have to make sure that that's 20,000 too. Okay. So you can see the difference between the geographic and the uh, projected. And so what I want you to do is make a, uh, up here, put a, a title for, the, for it. And uh, right here, we'll say title. And this would be the comparison map of a German PA. Where'd that go? Uh, projected versus geographic. And, and the size of those, that graphic is way too large. So what we have to do is um, uh, reduce the size of the graph. Okay, if we hit format format text we see the size of the print and we can bring that down to something a little bit more reasonable maybe 20 right and maybe we can even make it uh, German PA capital projected versus geographic and we may want to to move that a little bit uh, and we would, at that point, move it to like that. And then go ahead and put projected under that in comparison. And put all the marginalia in there. And then you'll have the projected versus the geographic map. And it should be a fairly dramatic, um, instructive thing about what does uh what are the differences between these two projections